Hello and welcome everybody to another Exiled playthrough. I am your host as always, Exiled Tyrant, and I'm going to be playing uh, Darth Mod for Napoleon Total War. Uh, and we're going to be playing, I did consider playing through the entirety of Napoleon's story, which I think would be really cool, but um, maybe I'll do these one, these campaigns later. I am going to be doing Europe. Uh, I think that that is you know, the real, it's the real meat of it. Italy kind of, like the tutorial is just to teach you how to handle stuff. Italy kind of teaches you how to handle an army. Egypt, how to just uh, kind of command a theater, do some research, things like that. Um, <coughs> and then Europe is really where the, with the culmination of everything you've learned. So without further ado, let's start it up. Never really liked Thomas Paine. Don't know why. He just seems to be a little bit of, too much of an anarchist for me. Just my opinion. I know there are Americans that think otherwise. Oops. Napoleon gave France greatness. He gave France everything. Glory, justice, and law. Nothing wasn't touched. His code made justice a reality for me. I watched the Emperor at he was a force of nature, a storm, blowing away the cobwebs. The old enemies plotted against him. Britain, Austria, Russia, and their mixed pitons. <laughs> Napoleon was to be removed and slain, extinguished. We were to stop them. In awesome. All of France, his empire, prepared for war. Forward, la grande armée. Onward. To Russia and all that shit. Anyway. The treacherous British have once more conceived plans against France. Pulling Austria and Russia into a coalition, Austrian armies have amassed in Bavaria and Italy, with Russian forces already marching to their aid, whilst the Royal Navy prevents the free movement of French shipping along every coastline. Their Admiral Nelson is not to be underestimated. Prussia, so far, has stayed out of the coalition. But they will not raise arms to assist us, and the revolution must eventually be taken to them. Occupied Württemberg and Bavaria cry out for our help, and French troops stand ready to enter German-speaking lands to oppose the combined might of the Austrian and Russian armies. Conquest of Vienna and Moscow should be our main objectives unless the meddling of other powers bids our intervention in other areas. Well, there you have it. There's kind of the uh, stage being set. It's kind of unfortunate, um, just the way that they set up this, is that we are, I mean, of course, Napoleon did fight Austria and Prussia, or not, pardon me, Austria and Russia, uh, kind of hereabouts, over in Moravia, um, at Austerlitz. It's kind of over here, but... Anyway, uh, he did end up fighting them there, but after that battle, Russia essentially kind of pulled out of the war. They weren't really interested in fighting Napoleon anymore, and certainly not after um, Napoleon ended up taking Berlin from the Prussians. Um, so, I really wish that Moscow wasn't one of the main objectives. Because had the Russians played ball with Napoleon and not, um, th if they had agreed to what his terms were, and his terms were that no one would trade with the British because he wanted to basically do to them what they had been doing to him uh, by blockading them in. Now, um, it's a little annoying. I don't really want to fight the British. I am. Where is the Spanish fleet? Uh, that's what I'm kind of worried about. Because I would—it's down here, I think, down by Gibraltar. There we go. I think this is the one that has the large ships. Yeah, it does. Huh. I'll occupy it. Why not? British will have to push me out of it. Um, but anyway, so the stage is set. This is just after Napoleon's been crowned in I believe 1804 December is when he was crowned so we're like he's very very new 
to being emperor. Um, and here's the Grand Army. It's kind of split up. Very uh, Napoleonic style for his army not to march as a single unit. They'd march as separate <coughs> uh, corps, and then they would unite at one point. So it's, it's actually kind of like the um, German Blitzkrieg during the Second World War, where generals are given the freedom to move and operate, uh, which I would argue is probably why Napoleon performed as well as he did. Uh, we don't really have enough infantry in this army, but at the same time, I would like some more cavalry and cannon, but eh, the things that you have to give up. What kind of cannon is that? It's a six-pounder? Uh, Hmm. Is it horse artillery? No, it's foot artillery. Hmm. <coughs> I'd actually really like to have Marat doing some stuff, but I'll keep Marat at the back for now. Um, but first things first, let's start developing places like France, because I would actually really like to have Paris be basically the center of this empire. Um, I need a national census to get mass mobilization, which is fantastic. Absolutely amazing for some of these. I do like the research tree. <coughs> I think that the Empire Napoleon research tree is really good. It's quite polished. Um, a little small. This is fine for how big it is, just because... Um, well, to be honest, I mean, we're only dealing with about 10 years, maybe 12, of Napoleon's history, so... It's not that big of a deal. I will send troops up there. I'd rather that the British didn't blockade or occupy my ports. I don't really care if they uh, block them. Excuse me. <coughs> but I just really don't feel like having to deal with um, them causing me problems. What region is this? This is... Ah, part of Paris. Okay. So I'm going to make them do gunsmith. Gunsmith or manufactory? Cheaper artillery or infantry? Yeah, I'm going to go with the infantry. I need a grand army. Um, where's this? Actually, that militia probably could have got there faster. That's fine. And I'm going to try and improve everything as much as possible. Because, quite honestly, that's what you need to do. Um, I'm going to put taxes on auto-manage because I find that the AI is just able to do it better and respond to things. Um... <laughs> Charles de Talleyrand, man who or Talleyrand, man who has served, who ends up serving about four rulers, I believe. He serves uh, Louis the Sixteenth, and kind of goes underground during the revolution, if I remember correctly. But then reemerges kind of just a little bit before I think Napoleon becomes emperor. If my history is correct. Um, so then Charles Talleyrand. <coughs> serves Napoleon, and when Napoleon's banished to a little island off the coast of Italy called Elba, near his home uh, land of Corsica, he uh, serves, Talleyrand serves the um, the restored Bourbon throne. Um, and even when Napoleon comes back, then Talleyrand just immediately switches. He's just a servant who changes his clothes, really. <laughs> Talleyrand just ruins some things for Napoleon. A lot of it has to do with uh, Talleyrand not being particularly loyal to him. Um, these are allied? Huh. Didn't think that they would be. Oh, I don't like Hanover. I don't like where it is. It's surrounded by people. that They're not at war with me, but given the chance, they will. I need to start developing an army. I think the next army I'm going to get, and I might actually just send Marat. I think I'm going to send Marat back to France. Or actually, maybe keep them in Reims. It's a little closer. So I'll start moving troops to Reims, and then uh, Marat will lead a cavalry, primarily, force to Claves, because I know the Prussians will declare war on me eventually. And something that I had completely neglected is the Italian theater. <coughs> I mean, Napoleon did a lot when he was down in Italy. Uh, first of all, he conquered Venice and ended its republic, a almost thousand-year republic, actually over a thousand-year republic. Um, and he freed up lots of territories, like um, 
for those of you who have played the campaign, uh, you might remember Piedmont Liguria was a territory that he secured on his way to march to force the Austrians to surrender. But anyway, um, Messina doesn't really have a lot of troops, and that slightly bothers me. Man, there's a lot of different types of troops you can get. Darth Maud is fantastic that way. Um, biggest thing that Darth Maud allegedly adds is um, AI improvements. I've noticed them, but honestly, it's a total war game. There's only so much you can do with the AI. Like, the AI is borderline brain dead most of the time. So. But we'll do what we can. We'll have some fun with this campaign. It's really what this is all about. Okay, well that's good. I actually don't mind if these two are fighting. I am thrilled. Austrian army's getting pulled out of places. Huh. Yeah, why not? Let's do some piracy. I'm worried, though, that they'll come chasing after me. <coughs> uh, I want to improve a lot of stuff. Just the magistrates, really, because I want to get either order really comfortable or just the ability for us to raise taxes like yeah wouldn't really want to do that on either of those but the increases in taxes like that's at full that's a pretty pretty nice jump um, see in trade we're not really doing so much with like I don't even think oh I could trade with a couple people what do you say Ottomans come on ah good I knew you'd trade with me. And the Prussians might. Yep. Hesse Castle. <coughs> they are allied to Saxony, so I'm not really worried about some of these guys. Like Denmark, I'd have no problem with. I have no intention of fighting them. And Portugal, I only have an intention of fighting them if the British um, plan to use... Oh, whoa, I didn't mean to threaten you. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Mecklenburg. I mean... Doesn't really matter, but sorry. Um, is there more troops? There must be more. This is nice. I'm gonna send this down. They've gotta have. Where does this go? There we go. Awesome. So we'll raid some more trade. Let's see what kind of? Do I get any money off of that? No, not really. It would be nice to get stuff like this, so I actually should build. <coughs> Maybe set some of my money aside next turn. Oh, I hmm. regret not doing that. I want a trade post down here. Genoa is only so good. Um, merchantmen, that's what I need to build. I need to build about two or three of those. Maybe even a little bit more. Anyway, let's go occupy over by this bridge. Actually, what's on the other side? Ugh. A little bit bigger army than I want to fight, so I'll keep us on the bridge. Um, and Napoleon's army, I'll just keep inching it towards the enemy. I don't really want to be caught too far away. See, here we're actually able to be reinforced by our v Bavarian allies. And I'm going to try and do whatever I can to prevent them from getting taken. Because I'm not 100% sure, but I think that if I end up taking claves... <coughs> but don't quote me on this. I think that it forms the... Uh, Confederation of the Rhine. I'm not 100% certain, though. I'm hoping. Crossing fingers. Bunch of moves that I set up last turn. It's nice to always try and leave a little bit of um, movement left. Um, it, it used to be what was called Force March in the game, when you would move right to the absolute end of your moves, which is it's not a bad thing to do per se. Um, it just kind of robs you of your mobility. So, say the enemy catches you off guard, it's it's not exactly something that you want to happen. So I'm just going to move to the border on the road. I actually probably could have taken Prague, but we'll do that. Sure, why not? We'll take, we'll take this town, Salzburg, and we'll dig in there for this turn. I've got a little bit of money to spend. Um... Uh, yeah, sure, we'll improve that, and I'll get some merchantmen for it. Okay. Um, always try and improve your towns. I probably am one of those people, though, that spends too much time improving their towns. Um, 
it's just kind of I'm a little bit of a turtle that way uh, strategically tactically like fighting on the battlefield mm, I'm pretty aggressive I wouldn't say that I'm a turtle but I think after I win some if I win a nice battle I'll build that but I'm gonna try and not to oh I could have grabbed that there's an idea that's something I could get the Italian army to go do yeah, that's something that's doable. And there's no attrition right there, so we'll just siege that. That's fine. Let's battle this. Like I said, AI is just painful. So... This is weird. It's kind of neat, though. They're actually kind of formed in um, tactics that would be kind of used. You know, that square, the Napoleonic um, column. It's not really a column. It is, it is a square of sorts. But anyway, let's try this. This is Messina, right? Yes, General Messina. Mm. What about this? A good enough spot? Kind of. Not great. Oh yeah, that'll do. I mean, there's a little bit of a blind spot at the bottom of this hill, because they're just at the top. In fact, they're kind of a little bit behind. But, that's fine. And we actually, because we're on the defense, a general rule of thumb that I use, um, outnumber your enemy at least... You need to have about a third of what your enemy has to defend properly. Anything less and you're really asking for trouble. Anyway, oh, we're definitely going to win this. On one hand, it is the AI, so there's not a lot of work in it. And this cavalry, I mean, look at it. It's awesome. There goes that cannon. What were they aiming at? Okay, fire at the fusiliers, because they're the ones that are going to cause trouble. See... I don't understand why the AI has such a hard time deciding where to go. Because it, I mean, right now it seems like it's going for my cavalry, which to me seems illogical. I don't know, maybe it thinks that that's the weakest unit, so it's going to go for them. But I ain't going to play that way. Let's just run and hide. Huh, I didn't consider some of that. A little bit too much of a lip. What about this? Could we use that? Oh, yes, we could. Okay, fire it, Will. This will just throw the AI for a loop because now it's surprised. Oh, beautiful. Come on, second line of fire. Awesome. Beauty. What's this unit? Huh. Archduke Charles Legion Garrison. Oh, they're garrison! Charge! Awesome. See? It's like they don't even know what... Th I think actually... Really? I mean, I think actually they're coming up here to defend, but I'm I'm hoping that this is just a tactical retreat, because that's pretty impressive if it is. I mean, AI doesn't usually do this stuff like that. Don't shoot, you're hitting your own men. Oh, that's pretty. I will take that. I will take that as a win. Oh, there's still a unit coming at us. Get ready, boys. Come on. Load up, load up. That's right. Give him a little bit of shot. It's 
nice because this isn't the grand army that's fighting. It's not my large part of my army. All right, come back. You've done enough. I think they're almost dead. All of them. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, let three of them live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spread out. Come on. Yeah. See? This is what I mean. Like, I mean, on one hand, I am using... Oh, is that right behind? They are. Just in that lip. Just below that lip. So they're pretty safe. But, anyway. Fire, you devils! Oh. There we go. Charge! Awesome. So much win. <coughs> okay. So now that that side's done. I mean, this is a really, really bad... Like, I'm, I, I love Darth. He did a really good job with Empire. Empire is really only playable with his mod, in my opinion. There's some other mods that are good. Uh, not to downplay those, but it's definitely... Yeah. I mean, this army... It was pretty half and half for the uh, calculator. It said that I had a chance of winning, and so did they, but... Still... I'm going to have this not shoot my men. Much as I usually don't care about my troops. I just love the... Like, the thing about Darth is he's not actually really making a lot of the content for this mod. Um... A lot of it's the tweaks to the campaign, tweaks to units, um, but like, the things that I like the most about this, other than the tweaks, no, we'll continue, we'll run those, this army down. Um, but the thing that I usually like is the uniforms and the, the flags, the smoke, like this pile of smoke that's sitting here. That wouldn't be in, that's just not there not in normal. So, I do really appreciate that kind of work that he put into it. I'm going to try and make sure that all these fusiliers are dead. They're kind of, I mean, they are garrison fusiliers, but they're still, still the kind of unit that I don't want hanging around. Wasn't the glorious victory already mine? I'm confused. Dear aide to camp. Ah. Oh, well, there you go. Killed their general, too. Alright, well, that's enough of that. Not really that heroic, but okay. The AI usually doesn't put up much of a fight. I keep it on medium because... I'm, I usually find um, when you put like battle, I actually could put it a little bit higher. But really, what it the difficulty doesn't make the AI smarter. The difficulty just gives them bonuses, so that makes it yes harder. But it doesn't really mean that you're fighting a challenge. You're just playing with something that has a unfair advantage. That's why I don't play on easy because it gives you money for nothing. Like I get a tax bonus or something like that. Did the Austrians just walk past my army? Well, yeah, I guess they did. Who's this? Yeah, that's their main army, pretty much. Okay, well, I'll fight the Russians. Under Kutsov. Will he fight me? Nope. <laughs> Don't blame him. Come back here. <laughs> yep, that's, uh... Well, kids, welcome to Austerlitz. Sort of. Battle of Salzburg. That's... This isn't even, like, a very difficult battle. And I think I actually have the hills according to the top graphical map, so... Yeah, if I just kind of rush my cannons up to the top of it, put some infantry, shouldn't have a trouble. A lot of trouble. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> it's actually not as far away as I like. Huh. It's quite, like, just beautiful looking game with this mod. I love the flag change. I like the flag of the nations change. Cossacks just look awesome. Like, it really feels a lot like, um, for those of, for anybody who's watched us play, um, the Exiles play games like Napoleonic Warfare for Mountain Blade, that's what it feels like. It feels that kind of detail to units that you're not playing in, but you can zoom right in. Like, I'm, I really don't particularly like, uh, Empire because of a lot of the issues that it had. A lot of which are ironed out, sure, but it still is a sore spot. <coughs> um, kind of like what I think Rome's going to be for me. It's just something I don't want to play ever again. Um, but this this feels like kind of like um, what I'm thinking whatever comes after Rome 2 is going to be like. A pretty polished... Uh, game. I need to develop my cavalry, actually, because I'd like to have Ney, uh, Marshal Ney, the great cavalry commander, be able to actually have a nice cavalry wing. I do like this. I really do like these guys. Old Guard. Just awesome. I mean, some of the best units that you'll get. <laughs> right, Napoleon's a uh, balloon uh, enthusiast. So then that goes up gives us sight of what they're deployed first. Which, had I not had that, I probably would have deployed in some really dumb spots. Um, but let's use these Volta gears exactly to what they were made for. Because there's light brush all across this. Bring back my Grenadier. Form them up in front of Napoleon. And why not? Oh, they brought up their Austrian friends, who I don't see behind me, so I'm happy. Now we get to listen to this orchestra of artillery that Napoleon has. Holy hell. Wow. Oh, they came back. Oh, and they rode right into this. Oh, lord. That's not pretty. See, normally I'd be worried about the Cossacks coming and running down my guys. I think I've killed enough of them that they'll retreat. Will they? Oh, no. Shoot them. Shoot them, damn it! Oh, that artillery. So beautiful. I'm just surprised at how little lag there is. Like, I'm... I'm not having almost anything for lag. Pretty solid. Okay, come on. You gotta deal with that cannon, guys. All of our cannons have gotta focus on the shit that's coming for the Volta Gears! No! Run. Oh, shit. Too late. On a positive note, the artillery's firing, basically, as they're running back. Run. Run, you devils. No, no. Run for the lines. Get the Volta Gears out of there. Go, boys. Go. Run. Run, you devils. Fire wherever you guys want. Man, that grape shot.
A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Move up, you devils. Is that artillery still firing at us? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're good. I told you to stop shooting! No! Oh lord, big line. Big holes. Oh god. Well, nobody's going to be calling this a great victory, I hope. Ah. Fuck it. Alright, get up, get up, go, go, go. Because you're not in the way of those cannons. <laughs> yeah, I might be shooting on my own men. Whatever. It broke the Russians, didn't it? How many did we lose? Oh, only about 40. <laughs> you gotta realize there's no value to any of these people. It's a horrible thing to say, but it's true. Most of these people are conscripts at best. Um, what's the range like? Mm, just barely. All right, Nay. It's a nice mod. It's good. Bring up Marshal Ney. <coughs> Kutsov we didn't even hit. I think he, well, we hit him, but I'm pretty sure that Kutsov got away. Yep, there he is. Oh, oh, that's not him. That's one of his guard. Is that him? No. Where is he? He's got medals pinned to his chest, so I'm trying to see him. No. Huh. Maybe he did go down. Maybe that's him. I don't know. Not a big issue. Alright, what's the... Is that the range that everything can hit him in? Awesome. Like, this is one of the biggest things that I've noticed, is the artillery improvement. Which Darth did in, um, in Empire as well. Like, before they had a range that was maybe double what um, a musket can shoot, which is ridiculous. Like, this is... This ridge... Yeah, thereabouts, just over this hill. That's the range now. It's awesome. I'm just going to give a volley here, just to see where where the shots bounce. Let's move you guys completely out of the way. I don't think it would hit them, but... I've seen way crazier things happen. Not bad, you killed four people and you weren't even aiming at them. Just from stuff overshooting. How many do we kill? Yeah, six of them. It's not terrible. The nice thing is, is that they have no ammo. No limited ammo. Which well, is kind of ridiculous, but... Eh. There you go. Oof. Still a lot of bouncing shells, because they're kind of coming up, coming up this hill. Come on, fire the same spot. Exact same spot. Hmm. No? Oh, there you go. 
Something that I really don't like is this. Like, this cannon actually hit where those guys were. And they just kind of brush it off. It's like, yeah, whatever, that, that shit happens all the time, man. Of course it does. Seriously, that commander over there, that Austrian commander, has got some balls. He just watched all of... <laughs> watched the entire Russian army withdraw after being chewed to shit by... Um, by canister shot. And now he sees this cavalry just sitting on this ridge watching him. And he's still coming forward. Balls, man. That guy has him. Let's try hitting the Fusiliers. They're a little bit larger. Not as good, because they're not Grenadiers, but... I mean, we've already killed... What's that? Like, 21 of them? It's not too bad. Yeah, the artillery's a bigger morale shock to them. They don't like it as much. <laughs> I say, what's that over there? Shit getting chewed to pieces. Seriously, I would not be walking that calmly. Maybe running. Props to them. Well, this has been real sweet, guys. Just don't let them shoot. Oh, don't let them shoot. Bold over. And now, run the hell away. Please form square. Please, for the love of God, form square. I think turning off camera shake's an option. I just find it annoying. Alright, alright, stop, stop, stop. There you go. White House. That's what his name was. Cool. Respect. Seriously, there's, there's only so much you can do against cavalry. Can I even form square? Yeah, I can. So why didn't they? I'm confused. I am very confused. What's a full square look like? Oh, that's not a full unit. Uh, 160. There you go. You guys probably didn't even shoot anybody. Yeah, lily livered, little wow, lily livered cowards. There you go. Q. Wish the flag was in the center. It just look cooler. I think that it does with the old guard. I don't know. Let's check. Yep. Either the flag goes to the center, or I think the entire command unit does. Nope, just the flag. Still looks awesome. <laughs> Except they're hiding. Hmm. <laughs> See in the distance the cavalry just chasing, like, probably one guy. Yep. You guys are special. What's this? Oh, those Swiss Grenadiers. Well, that was a close victory. This is what I mean. Like, it's just... There isn't really anything to this. It doesn't take much. and just... Bleh. Hmm. Not bad. I mean... Lost quite a few men, but most of it's from me just being really stupid with some units. Awesome. I'm gonna send him up. Oh. Ooh. Could I kill him? Yes. Ah, try. Oh. Might as well. 
Can you take this? Demand surrender. I'll take that. I'll take it. Why not? Repair that. Alright, it's a new turn. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything! Awesome. Uh, gunsmith manufacturing. We're interested in making money here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't like this Austrian army. Not a bit. I'm gonna make Alsace-Lorraine basically into a little fort. Because it should be. Just for safety's sake. Man, can you ever get a lot of infantry units. French Reunion Battalion. Why would I get foot? That's just silly. Huh. French conscripts, just garbage units, but there's a lot of them. That's all that I need. Hmm. Fusilier de Ligne. Not bad. Not bad. I don't ever want to have to go into Spain. Never. Okay.